What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually had some insane luck in the Skull Cavern. We actually made it to level like 25, 26, something like that, without even using any stairs. We fell down like I think, what was it, either two or three holes or something crazy. And we dropped down, we actually finished that one mission. We're going to check our mail here in just a minute and we're going to get some money from Mr. Key, which is going to be crazy good. But uh, we also bought uh, like, a, like a wall cactus there. I need to place this down somewhere. I don't know where we're going to place it though. So uh, just kind of place it anywhere, I suppose, right? Can I fit this anywhere? I don't know, put it, yeah, put it there then. Sure, why not? <laughs> and then we have some other stuff around here too, like a uh, triple shot espresso. Oh yeah, we bought a bunch of star fruit seeds as well. We need to lay these down like today because it takes 13 days to mature and it's the 15th right now. Unless we lose use like speed grow or whatever, it's, it's going to be done at the right at the tail end of the month. So we need to do this like right now. But also we mine some iridium ore while in the uh, mines, which is pretty crazy. We have an iridium bar right there as well as, where's the iridium? We have 11 right there, which is pretty good, you guys. We have a little bit of coal right there, but not enough to really smell to anything unfortunately so that kind of sucks as well as we found another strange doll in the desert too from a secret note so that's pretty cool i guess i guess we could donate that to gunther uh, nothing else i could do with that right so i know it's just walk outside and i think jody's going to talk to us right yep, yep yep there she is and look at that we still have a giant uh, melon over there i know i got a comment from someone uh, worrying that that wouldn't spawn in at the beginning of this episode but it looks like it spawned in again which is good <sighs> hi waffle <sighs> Whew, that was quite a workout walking all the way up here <laughs> Oh yeah? What, what do you have to say, Jody? Are you going to invite me to a dinner party or something like that? And you want me to catch a largemouth bass? <laughs> we already did this at the end of the last episode, so yeah, that's why I already know about this here. So let's just hurry through this. Anyways, I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. You don't have to, but if you do decide to come, could you please bring a largemouth bass with you? That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one of those for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well, it'll be at our house at around 7 p.m. tonight. Don't forget the largemouth bass, goodbye. All right, well, yeah, I think we already checked our fish chest at the end of the last episode. We didn't have any largemouth bass in that, unfortunately. Where is that at? The river or uh, lake or something like that, lake fish? Yeah, so there it is right there. We just need to catch that again and then a uh, sturgeon. Yeah, when do we get that again? Summer and, oh man, we might want to get that too, you guys, the sturgeon. So the backwoods and the mountain, I believe the mountain is also where we can get the uh, largemouth bass. Uh, but, you know, basically I know where fresh water is, right? So backwards mountain. Uh, I guess we can check that while we're here. So uh, look, there you go. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, pull up the search bar. Here you go. Large mouth bass. Aged. Ooh. How's just that? Oh, not really that much, actually. Okay, that's kind of trash. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What is this right here? Uh, yeah, backwards mouth. Okay, so we just have to go up to the mines, essentially. Uh, fish, like, anywhere during the day, basically. Uh, until it turns to nighttime at 7 p.m. right there at 19 so, yeah, we'll be able to catch this largemouth bass. And then, yeah, speaking of 7 p.m., that's when we need to do the uh, dinner party anyways, right? So, yeah, it's going to be a uh, perfect timing there, you guys. But let's check them on the mail over here. Yep, there it is right there. You did it. I'm very impressed. Enjoy your reward. The mysterious Mr. Key. 10,000 gold enclosed. Yeah, so we're 10,000 gold richer now, which is amazing. Dear Farmer Waffle, I'd like to give my wife a star fruit for our anniversary. Are you growing any on your farm? If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Kent. Yeah, I was editing last episode when we when i read this i was like oh is, is tonight is that dinner party their anniversary which i don't know that'd be kind of weird to invite me to their anniversary then you need to be about them too right not random strangers <laughs> especially bringing a large amount of bass right but yeah so that's, that's going to be one of those missions that's not like time sensitive or anything like that uh soldier's star yeah so we can just do this one hour so yeah uh we currently have star fruit growing don't know when when they're going to be done though uh, probably like next week or something like that uh but uh, yeah we also have star fruit we need to lay back down as well so, it, hold on, this one doesn't expire, though. It says, uh, dinner at 7 p.m. It doesn't say today. So I guess, yeah, I guess we could just do this whenever. I don't know, we could do we could do that mission next year if we wanted to, right? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we need, we need to pick up all of the melons over here. And I know I got comments from you guys saying, yeah, you know, large melons or uh, large plants like that, uh, they, they actually like last year round, like even during the winter, they, they'll still exist. Like, like if I didn't chop down that giant melon right there, it'd still be there in the winter time. Same thing with the giant cauliflower and uh, supposedly the giant, uh, whatever we're going to get next season. I forgot what it's going to be. But yeah, I think I'm going to chop down this giant melon right here. If anything, uh, to get more room as well as to plant down another set of melons over here, right? So there you go. Boom, we just got, uh, well, I don't know how much we had right there because it's just kind of stacked up with the melons we already had. But uh, yeah, it looks like some of our hops is ready there as well. I'm going to need to uh, re-till this as well as re-water this over here because uh, unfortunately some of the plants like died or whatever overnight. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah, we already uh, 
we, we got the corners or whatever because it was going to uh, produce the three by three for the large uh, melons anyway. So that's what we did there. But it looks like some of our blueberries are done. Is that corn done? No, that's not done right there. Some of the hops is done there though, which is good. And I wonder if the fiber is going to be done today as well. I definitely want to check them on that. As well as, like I said, we need to replant or just plant in general the star fruit seeds here that take 13 days, right? So is that, uh, yeah, this should be enough over there. We have, I think, 24 star fruit or something like that. So let's get these uh, going over here. Get these tilled and I'm going to need to water these as well. So uh, then we have eight left over. Uh, we don't have any room there to put anything. I guess we'll put the rest up here, I suppose, right? So uh, yep, there you go. Sure, why not? <laughs> there you go. Okay, cool. And then we still have a lot of slots up here for, uh, for some random stuff. Oh, is that star fruit right there? Oh, I think it is. Okay, so that's good that I placed them up here. They're going to be like right next to each other. But uh, like I said earlier, I do want to check up down here or check down here. Uh, is this done? Can I can I get five? Okay, it's not done. I still need to get a uh, a scarecrow over there too. I need to get a pepper pot. I probably should have eaten this earlier, man. Hold on, eat the pepper pot. There we go. I I, I have gotten comments from people saying uh, to make multiple chests, like one chest. I should have like over there. I, I should put like coffee over there. I should put uh, cauliflower. That's what we're putting over there uh, pretty frequently as well. Uh, and then also a chest over in the skull cavern. Where I can put some random stuff like, like I'm not going to need an axe in the skull cavern. I'm not going to need a steel hoe. I almost never use the slingshot. I should probably just, get, well, then again, we use that for storage for the stone. So, and then the, yeah, the fishing rod, uh, then the golden side. Yeah. So whenever we go into the skull cavern, I could just put those random uh, things that I'm not obviously not going to use in the skull cavern. Just put those up in the chest. And then whenever I leave, I can just grab them again, just like we do in the mines. I have a chest like that over in the mines. So definitely want to do that. Then, yeah, we have Omni Geodes. I guess we could open up those as well. See if uh, Clint's going to give us anything good there. And then while we're in the area, check them on the strange doll. I do want to check and see what uh, the luck and all that kind of stuff is today, though. Let's see. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to or Yeah, yeah, all day tomorrow. It's not going to rain until like the 26th, apparently. So that's going to be a little ways away. Uh, let's see what this is right here. The spirits are in good humor today. Ooh, that's good. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising because last episode, with all that luck we had in the Skull Cavern, we had like the worst luck or something crazy there, <laughs> which is amazing. I know it's hard, but stop worrying so much about your horse. You can leave them anywhere and they'll make their way back home. They're very smart and independent animals. Yeah, it's, that, that seems pretty interesting there. So I guess we don't have to actually bring back Nuke the horse, like physically back to the base. I guess maybe if I fall asleep and he, he'll wake up in the stable the next morning or something like that, that'd be really cool. Uh, but for right now, yeah, we already have espresso and all the kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need that. I probably should have put the heck in the coffee and stuff over here. Uh, got this processing and stuff in the background, but nope. There you go. Uh, I didn't even get that chest. That, that was literally, I was literally talking about that there. I didn't even do anything right there. So <laughs> I need to, uh, and then yeah, we need to go over to Pierre. We need to buy a bunch of melon seeds because I don't think we have any melon seeds right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see if I can make any more chests because I think it's 50, 40 or 50 wood slash 40 or 50 stone. So if I can't make a stone or a wood, just 109. Yeah, I guess I'll make a mouse stone then, right? Just because I have 301 right there, so there you go. And I know I got comments from you guys saying uh, that I could make staircases out of the stone. It's like a, it's 99 right there. Yeah, I know that, but uh, the stone is kind of hard to come by, as we saw uh, in the episodes leading up to last episode. Uh, especially, you know, whenever we're upgrading our house, uh, barn, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it requires like hundreds of stone and stuff like that. So we were pretty drained on stone. So yeah, just having the jade and that crystallarium over there. Uh, producing like four or five jades or however much that was. That was actually pretty good happening in the background, so that helps out quite tremendously. So right now, I, I guess we'll put this chest over here just so I don't uh, get in the way over there. Then uh, I guess we'll put up extra coffee and uh, yeah, cauliflower and coffee beans in there. Yeah, we have tons there, you guys. I guess we'll keep the stone chest. I don't know where I'm going to put that right now because I, I don't think I'm going to go to the desert today. And I need to check up on this over here as well as check up on the, uh, the cows and sheep and all the kind of jazz, right? Uh, or I, li I still don't have any sheep. I don't know why I keep saying that. The cows, the chickens. The one goat. Uh, the goat is an adult now, by the way. So we can indeed milk the goat, but it's not going to be uh, producing any large goat milk, which we need for that animal bundle. So yeah, we could milk you, right? Yeah, there you go. And then, uh, but yeah, so we got a regular goat, goat milk right there, which we could sell and then uh, use that for getting that one mission, right? And there we go, milk another cow. But yeah, like, like always, let me just take care of all the chickens, cows, all this kind of jazz over here. Stop milking the duck. And yeah, uh, let's grab all the, the eggs over here. Yep. I just heard that sound right there. We have enough eggs for Gus. Yeah, so we need to put those eggs in his uh in his in his fridge. He's missing five right now. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have enough. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what's the most. I guess maybe I'll keep this egg and make a mayonnaise out of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. And then uh, he needs five. One, two, three, four. I think he needs five, right? Yeah, two dozen, and we have nineteen already. Okay, so I guess I'll do the uh, two void eggs. We get two ma void mayonnaise, right? So uh, hopefully we get as much money. And yeah, there's another thing right there. I guess uh. 
Yeah, boom, there you go. I, I, I have way more eggs than I actually need, right? So that's good. But yeah, uh, let, me, let me continue milking the cows and all the kind of jazz, because I know I probably missed one or two of them, and I'll see you guys over at uh, Pierre's or Clint's or the museum or something like that here in just a bit. Oh man, yeah, I need to make another, uh, I guess I'll make a goat cheese right there. I need to make another cheese maker, you guys. I completely forgot that, yeah. So how, how do we make that again real quick? We need a uh, hardwood stone. We can, Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I, I could do that no problem. I kind of want to maybe, just because I don't want to spend too much time right now. Wood stone. We can, we can do that later in the day, I suppose, right? Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the hopper's empty. Whoops. Uh, there, get, that, that should be enough right there. And there you go. And now I have an extra thing. I don't know. I'll throw it away or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's just go over to Clint's or whoever, uh, Pierre, uh, buy some seeds, all the guns. We, we have a bunch of stuff I need to heck and do, you guys, golly. It's insane. Oh, wh why do I, why do I not have the horse? Oh, wait, yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to ride the horse while, uh, like, riding around on the minecart and stuff, right? I, I don't think so, so uh, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll go over to Clint's. Uh, it's going to be faster if I go this way. Then we'll walk up to Pierre's and all the guys, right? But we do have a spirits and good humor, so let's do that. And let's go over here, check up on this as well. And yeah, uh, Clint... What the world? Oh, hey, look at that, a broken CD, nice. But yeah, if Clint gives us anything from those four Omni Geodes, uh, we can go home and open up the other ones and hopefully get double of them, right? So that's going to be great. But let's do process Geodes, there you go. Or do you want to get out of that Omni? Uh, five star, I'm not crazy about it. Uh, let's see, what are we going to get there? Woo, what is that? Ghost, okay, yeah, I think we already had that before. Oh man, what's that? Granite, ooh, is that rare? What is that? Is that like worth? Don't think you're telling me. Okay, I guess we'll just donate it to a museum just like that strange doll or something, huh? And I guess we'll process this one as well, because I, I don't think we need a... <laughs> it's a piece of clay! Uh, yeah, I don't think we need a second thing of uh, granite right there. I don't know, maybe maybe it would have been worth some. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, while we're in the area, let's go over to the museum, and then we'll go over to the uh, saloon. Yeah, the saloon. Uh, drop off the eggs, and then go up to the pier and buy a bunch of heckin' seeds and stuff, right? And then we'll just keep on heading north and uh, fish in that one lake over by the mines, right? So we have a pretty big uh, itinerary right now set for the day, so uh, where did I put the other strange doll? Wait, did I never donate that one strange doll? Wait, hold on. Because we had... this is... oh, there it is. Okay. So there's that one right there. Okay, so they're right next to each other now. And there's like a piece of granite there. I guess we'll put that up there. There you go. And I'll have anything else to donate. Did we get anything? Man, Gunther cheaping out, not giving me any gifts. <laughs> But yeah, let's keep going. Oh yeah, you know what? I think someone actually commented. We have pepper poppers right now, moving, making us move a little bit faster. I think people said, oh man, it's Mo yeah, it's Monday. I have another mission I can do. Holy heck, that's crazy. Uh, but apparently, triple shot espresso, coffee, etc. Yeah, look at that, it stacks. So I plus one speed from the pepper popper and then another one from the uh, espresso. That's amazing there. I know it's rock rejuvenation and then prismatic jelly. Ooh. Yeah, we failed prismatic jelly last time trying to get the prismatic slime, but I don't know. Maybe that's going to be a little bit more uh, feasible as well as also another excuse to go into the... Uh, the, the skull cavern, right? Try and find the prismatic slime over there, perhaps? But was this other one over here, Rock Rejuvenation? Oh yeah, I'd get a bunch of different crystal- I don't know. Mm, you want to invite some friends over to do a Rock Rejuvenation ceremony, but need some crystals. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that one instead. Because I we didn't do it last time. We did this one last time and failed it. Let's do this one and maybe we'll have better luck. And you guys did say I could do multiple special requests at the same time. So yeah, let's accept that one at least for right now. So there you go. And then there's Haley down there. Don't have any trash in my inventory, but I do see worms right there. Don't want to forget about that. I know I'm going to forget about it. <laughs> I'll say that out loud, even though I know I'm going to forget. But hey, Gus, how you doing? I've got some more eggs over here for you. Uh, ba boom and ba boom. Is that all? Of yep, there you go. Awesome. Okay, so now we finish that up. Guess his favorite famous omelet. Hey, look at that, three grand. That's pretty good money there. I've got the urge to make my famous giant omelet, but I need two dozen eggs. Any takers? Okay, well, yeah, that's going to be a huge omelet. Two dozen eggs? Golly, Gus. <laughs> good evening. Make yourself at home. Do I have any uh, oranges in my... Oh, I must have put it up. It must have stacked up some of the uh, other stuff earlier. Man, well, that kind of sucks. But yeah, let's keep heading north uh, as well as we have good luck. Man, didn't get anything there. Oh, man, I've got good luck, but I'm not getting anything right now. Except for broken or broken CD at one time, but whatever. I know it's Pierre. I want to buy. Where is it? Mel yeah, Melon Seed. So we have 96, I think, last time, because it was a, it was a 10 by 10, and then if you cut out the four sprinklers in the middle, that that's 96. So let's get another 96, I guess. We have 21,000. There's that 21 number again. I guess we'll get 90. So I'll get 95 here, and then I'll manually get another one. Boom. There you go. 90. So we have exactly enough. We don't have to worry about that one core. Yeah, you know what? We already have sprinklers set up for that one corner. I guess I'll get another four. There you go, so we have a hundred again. <laughs> so there you go. Blueberries and uh, peppers, tomatoes, wheat, poppy. 
uh, so yeah, we have to, we planted sunflowers last episode, or like one of the episodes, because I record like three of them at the same time. <laughs> but uh, see, we, we have corn and we have wheat that I can grow right now, which is also going to continue to grow. Well, except for wheat, obviously it's not going to continue to grow because you harvest it and then it's gone. But at the same time, red cabbage, someone said to get more red cabbage and uh, what's it called? Yeah, we harvested all of our red cabbage, so it's all gone. Yeah, let's get more of it, I suppose, huh? Yeah, let's get more of that. 100 each. I guess we'll get maybe 16. Yeah, there you go. So let's go to go around two sprinklers. That should be fine. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I have more sprinklers. Yeah, let's get 24. Let's get another eight. Boom. Around three sprinklers. That, that should be good there. Peppers, tomatoes, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we got about 11,000. Yeah, you know what? I think we're fine as is. I don't think we need to spend any more money right now, right? But man, holy heck, yeah, we're moving super duper swiftly right now. And you guys, oh, yeah, you guys also said in the comments of one of the three episodes <laughs> uh, that apparently whenever I have like a speed boost or what? Oh, whoa, what's Penny doing over there? If I have a speed boost or whatever, that's going to apply to my horse as well. What are you doing over here, Penny? Hello, Waffle. It's nice to see you're doing well. Same thing with you, Penny. I guess you're just chilling out over there, huh? I'm like, it's Monday right now. I thought you'd be hanging out with the kids over at the library or something like that. I guess not. But yeah, let's, let's go fishing over here. I'm like, it, it seems like we don't need to get the bass for tonight. We can just get it like right now and then we're fine. And then, yeah, I also got a comment from someone saying, uh, whenever I do fish, I need to make sure it's away from land. The popper's away from land. Well, the best luck, I guess, uh, in that sense, right? But, uh, oh, we got green algae. Man, yep, there you go, nice. And then also you guys said, uh, if, if, if a fish is going up and down like a bunch, like sporadically like that to a catfish, I should just keep the, uh, the, the green bar like up. Man, I missed it. Ah, I should just keep it. Instead of trying to chase it, I should just keep it. Uh, that way I don't, I don't like lose uh, it. Try, you know, I'm way too slow to try and catch up with it. So I might as well not even try. I might as well just stay still in that point, right? But. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got a hit. What is it going to be? Is it going to be? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is very tame. Whatever this. Oh, man, we have a treasure chest there. OK, we have a lot of green. Let's get the treasure chest now. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, the, tr the the fish knew staying on the opposite side of the treasure chest. Oh, we're still going to get him. Though. Hey, we got him. Not, uh, it's not a large mouth, but it's a chub. Yeah, but we did get a uh, treasure chest with us. Uh, some... OK, well, I got one bait back, so that's good. So I guess we're net zero. Uh, in terms of how much bait we just lost slash gained right there. So I guess I can't complain. We got a little bit of stone as well. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, let's continue fishing over here until like, say, 7 or so p.m. Then uh, if we do in the... Oh, 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 man, again, didn't catch anything. Golly. But hopefully, hopefully we could actually catch this fish in time for this uh, dinner time today. If not, then I guess we could do it anytime in the future in general. I guess it doesn't matter, right? There's probably another chub right here. Just, just looking at how much it's... Uh, yeah, it's another chub right there. Man, hey, you got a new uh, fishing tackle. Man, the fishing tackle worn out. The the trap bobber or whatever that is right there. Man, oh, another hit. What's it going to be? Ah, I feel like it might be moving a little bit more on that chub. This might be a large mouth. Ah, maybe. Oh, we got a perfect. And it is. Oh, whoa, it's a different thing. What's that? A bullhead. Okay, well, it's 21. And there's that number again. Golly. <laughs> but yeah, at least it wasn't a chub right there. Okay, well, at least it was better than literally nothing right there. <laughs> Anyways, let me keep fishing for the next, like, hour and a half or so. Oh, another hit. What's it going to be? This is acting a lot like that, uh, whatever that was I just caught, like, five seconds ago. But not, not, like, chub-like. Oh, oh, lar oh, we got the largemouth bass. Awesome. Okay, so it's 5.40 p.m. Rank rejuvenation. Okay, so what are we doing here? Oh, okay. Give a ruby to Emily. Topaz. I, we got that last episode. Topaz, we have tons of those. We have tons of emeralds. Jade, we just spent all of them. But we have them in the crystallarium, so... I don't know, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, we're going to get another uh, Jade. We have Amethyst. We could do the, we, this mission. It's easy. Why did I not do this last time? Golly. But anyways, yeah, Emily wants a bunch of rocks or whatever. Yeah, she could have them. Sure, why not? Hopefully she gives us good money, right? Uh, I guess we'll go to the town. Yeah, let's go to the town. Just head west a little bit. Not east. There's nothing to the east. Uh, and then go to Jody's house or whatever. I forget which one specifically it was. I think it's the one on the left, right? Because I think the one on the right is where Emily and uh, Haley live, right? This one right here. So I think it's this one right here I need to go to for uh, dinner time. So 7 p.m. It's 6 p.m. right now. I'm fashionably early. Uh, let's go into the trash away from Leah. There you go. And there you go. Okay, cool. Can I go in here? Is there an event happening right now? Oh, hey, there we go. Hi, Waffle. Please come in. Hey, no problem. Hey, Ken, I got a fresh fish for you. Hey, Jody, check out this big old fish. It's about this big. I don't know how big it actually was. Ah, I'm so glad you came, Waffle. And you brought the fish. Wonderful. Hey, no problem. Yeah, it's fresh caught, like literally like five minutes ago. I just got it. Sam, could you come in here and help clean this fish? Yeah, what's he doing? Just staring at that bookcase right there, not helping <laughs> his parents. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look at him. He's got manners. They taught him well. <laughs> I 
just throw the fish on the floor? <laughs> wow, it looks wonderful and it smells so fresh. Thanks so much for doing this, Waffle. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, I'd literally just caught it, so it's fresh out the way. It's probably still alive. Squirming on the ground right there as I threw it on the ground like a piece of trash. <laughs> Kent caught a fish too, but he eats about a whole fish to himself. Yeah, I don't blame him. He looks like a big man over there. <laughs> oh yeah, well, do you think you could eat my whole entire bass right there, huh, Kent? Mmm, <laughs> that crispy bass was delicious. The breading was to die for. I almost feel like part of the family now. Yeah, speaking of, like, what was this event all about? Was this because I was a... Good, good. Oh, look at that. Like, literally no time pass right there. I guess they ate an hour early and it only lasted 10 minutes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I do need to plant the melon seeds, the, uh, the red cabbage, and I, I do need to take care of all that stuff. Uh, but I guess we'll go over here and check up on... Uh, oh, hey, Leah, there's Ellie. Yeah, I need to keep on talking to all these people around here. Don't want to forget about them. A gentle little sunbeam woke me up this morning. I never felt so refreshed. Oh, yeah. Well, you look great, Elliot, so... Seems like the sun had kissed you in the morning, woke you up, and you kissed the sun right back. I'm sorry if that isn't very interesting to you. What are you talking about, Elliot? You're the most interesting person in the town. That's why I'm so nervous. That's why I never talk to you, because I feel like I'm not worthy of talking to you. <laughs> I found some wild fruits this morning. Oh, yeah? Well, that's good, because I haven't been foraging, like, at all, Leah. <laughs> so more for you, I guess. Sorry, I don't have any left. Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find something. Uh, well, I, I haven't been looking in, like, at all. Like, uh, that's all up to you there, Leah. You, you can do that all you want. <laughs> it's not my problem. And I knew, I forgot about the Tekken worms. Yeah, let's just go back. Because I, I know I'm going to get comments about those worms. I pointed them out. I said I was going to forget about them. And you know what? I'm going to prove myself from 10 minutes ago. I'm going to prove that version of myself wrong. And I'm going to go get those worms. So, let's go get those worms. Then I guess we'll go plant down all the stuff and all that kind of jazz. Now, is there anything else happening today? Because it's Monday right now. Yeah, let's go Let's go dig up. Oh, you can walk there? Okay, cool. Uh, let's go dig up in the heckin' graveyard. It was clay. Okay, two clay. I, I guess I can't complain. <laughs> and, yeah, you know what? Yeah. We, we could also gather all the uh, the gems that we need for... Hey, there's Clint right there, too. I guess we'll casually talk to him, too. But yeah, while we're back at home, let's go gather all the uh, gems that we need for Emily as well. Because I'm pretty sure we have all of them, except for the Jade. Uh, unless we have an extra one or something like that. Uh, if not, then yeah, like I said, we could just wait till the Crystallarium produces another Jade, I suppose, right? Be glad that you're a farmer, Waffle. It's nicer to work outdoors than buy a hot furnace all day. Oh yeah, especially during the hot summer's day, huh, right, Clint? I know, yeah, let's just head home. Let's just teleport over to the, to the whatever it's called. Bus stop, there it is right there. Just teleport over to here and yeah. Uh, oh, hey, Leah, yeah, there's a lot of sweet peas over here, so I guess I guess Leah didn't come over here and forage for uh, some of the fruit. I, are these fruit? It, I'm like, it's a pea. Is a pea a fruit? I don't think it is. Uh, I don't know, leave a comment down below. What is a pea? I'm pretty sure that, like, you'd think it'd be a vegetable, but I guess if you think about it, I guess it could be a fruit? Because it, like, comes off of it. It's like a fruit of a plant. It's not the actual part of the plant itself. This isn't, I don't know. Technicalities, all that kind of jazz. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hopefully. I'm probably just blabbling to myself over here. Anyways, I guess we'll just, uh, yeah, I never sold the heckin' cheese on that. I never emptied that stuff in my... We had this from last night, too. I, I don't know why I didn't put that up in there. Yeah, I, I need to make another cheese maker for that large milk as well. Don't want to forget about that. And then we have a random piece of hay. I guess we'll keep that for right now. Then, uh, stone. Yeah, I could just stack that up with that stone. And then, ba-boom. There you go. We're good to go. Spicy eel. Yeah, you guys told me spicy eel's really good for this cold cavern. I guess we can keep that at least for right now. And yeah, look at that. We have a jade done right there, you guys. That's really good, you guys. Cool. Put the uh, spicy eel up, and we have five of them. Looks like we already had one up in storage right there, you guys. Cool. Uh, let's also put up the bait uh, in the actual fishing rod. There you go. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, and speaking of fishing rod, we need to make another tackle thing right there, because ours uh, did indeed break. And let's put a uh, this right here, and now we have the jade. And then what else do we need? We needed... Uh... Oh, yeah, we have slime. Why do I have slime there? And slime goes into here. Everything is in the wrong chest. <laughs> We have, uh, we need emerald, I do know, I, uh, we need emerald, we need ruby, we need, uh, amethyst, and topaz, I think that's it, right? Okay, ruby, yes, topaz, yes, emerald, yes, jade, yes, and amethyst, yes. We have all of them, I, I guess we'll look at the map, where, where is Emily at right now, she, uh, oh, okay, we might be able to go to her, like, right now, you guys, that's, that's good, that's fine. Uh, cause she's, she's working in the saloon right now, so, obviously she's just gonna be hanging out there for the next, who knows how many hours, right, but... I suppose for right now, uh, except for like right here, I'm going to mainly water all this. I, I guess I'll just plant down all the seeds over here. Yeah, let's go up here. Let's get, let's take care of all the coffee, all that kind of jazz. Uh, cauliflower. Yeah, I guess we'll put the cauliflower up there, and we'll put the uh, let's get the espresso right now. There you go. I guess we could ride the horse over to uh, whatever it is over there, right? Uh, but let's put the coffee here. There you go. Put the coffee in there, and we'll put the uh, cauliflower in the, the uh, preserving jars up there, right? So that's going to be good. There you go. 
Cool. And let's get the cauliflower. Where's that at? Do I have that? There it is right there. We only have nine of them. Uh, yeah, this is enough. Okay, cool. There you go. Awesome. Amazing. There you guys. Cool. Let's put the uh, coffee beans back in there. There you go. Cool. And then we'll sell that as well as uh, take care of the red cabbage, I suppose, right? Mm, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Where, where, where's uh, she still? I don't know. She's Yeah, she's still there, Emily. I guess let's go check up on her right now. I, I could plant the red cabbage a little bit later, but I don't know if she's going to be... Uh, like heading home or whatever. I, I I just want to get this mission done, right? So let's go over there. Let's go to the uh, saloon real quick. And oh gosh, it's already like 30 minutes in this video already. Golly. Like once again, like I, I need to keep an eye on the heckin' video like length, recording length thing. And make sure I don't record another heckin' two and a half, three hour recording session here, you guys. Oh, hey. Wow, we got a we got an event right here. A friendship event with Clint? Is it with Clint or is it with Shane or... Abigail, just it might be for Gus because it's the saloon, or maybe it's is it Clint? Hello, awful. Care to join me? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not, Clint? What do you have to say? You have something to talk about? Let me just go ahead and tell you what's on my mind. I have terrible luck with women, Waffle. I'm a nice guy if you get to know me. I swear. Oh, was he? Is he? Is he talking about Emily over there? Cause doesn't he have a thing for Emily or am I thinking about someone else? The girls all seem to like you, Waffle. Yeah, cause I give everyone gifts, so obviously they're going to like me, right? <laughs> Got any tips? Impress women with your strength and charm. Act crazy, <laughs> keep people guessing. Just act normal and be yourself. Treat women the same as men. Uh, I, I guess this is how we got it, cause we gave everyone gifts, impress them with your strength and charm. Or is it this one? Act crazy to keep people guessing, I don't know. I, I, I guess that could be also a good one to make you stand out from the crowd, I guess, right? I don't know. Impress them with your strength and charm, I don't know. I guess it depends on the person. Act crazy to keep people guessing, like I said, maybe make you stand out from the crowd. Act natural, be yourself. Yeah, that's good for not like being fake, you know, being yourself. Make sure people actually like the real you and not like the weird illusion that you put up of yourself. And then treat people, or treat women the same as men. That's also a good one too. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, if we if you treat them like any any other regular old person, I, they'd probably appreciate that. Treat them the same as men, rather than trying to be all weird and awkward around it. Yeah, you know, I, hasn't he had problems with that? Like he sent us a thing in the letter, or a thing in the mail saying to give whoever Emily, whoever it was, Abigail, uh, an emerald or something like that, and then say that you bought it from Clint's shop. Yeah, just treat treat them the same as men. I, I, let's do this one right here. This seems good. They're, they're just regular old people just like you and me, Clint, and might as well treat them the same. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, cool. Oh, is it Abigail that he like? Well, at least we know she's still here, so we can give her the heck of gems and stuff, right? And then say that we bought them from Clint's uh, blacksmith, right? Hi, Clint. What can I get for you tonight? Oh, you're going to treat her like a normal old person? Yes. What? Or, I mean, <laughs> I'll have the bacon cheesy with extra sauce, please. <laughs> Hi, Waffle. Yeah, a little bit of an awkward moment there, right? Er, <clears throat> thanks, Emily, for taking my order. Uh, Emily, I was... I was wondering. Oh, what is it? Yes, Clint? Oh, he's sweating. He's nervous. Uh, never mind. Come on, Clint, you can... Oh... Hi, Shane. Here's your beverage. Oh my gosh, that's a giant thing of beer. That's actually... Shane, we had this talk, didn't we? About the alcohol and counseling and... Man, I don't know. Maybe this cutscene should have happened earlier or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, thanks, Emily. So, how's your shift coming along? Yes, yeah, so look at that, Shane. Talking to Emily like any old regular person there, Clint. Not saying, like, random memes like, yes, whenever she asks you what your order is. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks for asking, Shane. Do you have any new chicken stories for me? <laughs> what? Chicken stories? Sounds like something she'd be asking me, or Marnie. Oh, well, yeah, he lives on the ranch over there with Marnie, so I guess that makes sense. <sighs> says Clint. I'm doomed. Uh, come on, Clint. Practice makes perfect, right? Oh, and then, yeah, we're out here. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, there she is, right? Okay. And Clint, Clint teleports from there over to there. Okay, cool. Anyways, uh, Emily, let's take care of your mission here. So can I, uh, do I have to give him one at a time, or... Eating healthy is very important to me. I want to live long and uh, live a long and active. I guess you do have to do them one at a time, right? So there you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. One at a time, and then the topaz. 
And boom, that's all of them right there. Awesome. Rock Rejuvenate. Boom. That's probably the fastest we've ever done a special request there, you guys. That's amazing. And then we got a thousand gold right there. Not bad, but then again, I feel like we would have got more money if I just sold those minerals just on their own, right? But whatever. Hey, I'm going to invite... Oh, yeah, we already read that. A thousand gold right there. Do we get the uh, soldier stuff? Oh, yeah, we never... Do what do we get from the... Uh, bring the, the largemouth bass or whatever? Did we get anything? Ship 100 right. Yeah, so yeah, that, that glitched out, so that's why we're, sh we're, we're planting more uh, radishes and stuff right now. But yeah, at least we got this part of it done. Harvest 100 radishes. We still have two weeks to do that, so we're, we're still on track to get that done, which is really good. And uh, then there's Shane, blah, 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 Pam, and all the guys. Uh, it's 11 p.m. right now. Uh, yeah, let's just go home. I don't want to spend time there. I still have to plant down the uh, red cabbage and stuff before midnight. So yeah, let me go take care of that real quick. And I guess I'll look at the footage here. We're 39 minutes of raw footage right now. I don't know. Maybe it's like 30 minutes into the real video. I'm going to have to think about hacking any off the video here pretty soon, you guys. Golly. <laughs> and let's see. Is this 24? We don't have any uh, fiber here, unfortunately. Except for like some of the regular old, or uh, not fiber, fertilizer. Except for the fertilizer that's already been laid down previously on uh, other crops, right? But, uh, oh, whoa, that's actually enough right there. Okay, cool. There's another owl right there, or crow or whatever that is right there, so. Kind of want to watch out for that. Is there anything else? Anything done? The fiber. Uh, yeah, how do you get the scarecrow again? It's 1230 right now. Wood, coal, and fiber. Um, I, I did say I wanted to make another cheese maker, so I kind of want to go check up on that as well. I want to forget about that, you guys. Golly. What the? This is happening again. It happened last time, too. It's like a weird, like, something right there blocking my way. I don't know what's good. And the coffee's done over there as well. And we got another refined quartz right there. Amazing. So, uh, so I guess put that up over here. And some laggy music is playing in the background. <laughs> uh, then we got clay again right there. Is that, uh... I thought we put the clay up there previously. Where, where's the clay at? Oh, it's over here. I guess I'm storing it over here. Okay. Well, let's get that. And then we need to get, uh, what else? Hard I think we need hardwood, right? Uh, I don't know how much. I'll, I'll grab all of it. Oh, wait! Yeah, we have way more wood than I thought. Yeah, we have 999 right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. We have ancient seeds and stuff, too. We have some basic fertilizer right there. Yeah, not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, so we have 109 right there. So I need to get the cheese maker, cheese press. We need to get the stone and the copper. And what else did I need? A uh, scarecrow. That's coal and fiber. Um, We don't have enough fiber. We have 18 right now. Man, I might be able to find some to get the, uh, man, to get the scarecrow. I just need two more, but... Uh, let's get one thing in copper. There you go. Let's get the cheese press again. Where's that at again? Sto oh, I need to get the stone out. There you go. And let's get, uh, whoops, that's wrong thing. I didn't need to open that up. And cheese press. Okay, cool. So now we have five cheese presses right now, which is good. So I'll put the, up, uh, put up the extra hardwood like so. And I guess we'll go outside. It's 1 a.m. right now. Don't know if we're going to get... Oh, I guess, yeah, you know what? We could get some of the grass over here. And maybe that's going to give me uh, fiber. Oh, oh, yeah, it just gives you hay. Yeah, I, I need to break a uh, wheat or weed. Uh, and that's going to give me uh, whatever there. Man. Kind of missed out on that, but there you go. So we have a uh, more cheese right there, which is good. Got goat cheese and stuff. Yeah, these guys are already fed. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine there. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal if I miss out on the scarecrow, right? Yeah. Well, I guess for right now, let's just go over here. Let's go put up some of the stuff. Let's ship the goat cheese, the regular one. Uh, that's not for a community center, right? Yeah, that's not for a community center. I just wanted to double check right there. Uh, but, you know, just to ship it in general, just so we can uh, get that done for the ship everything uh, mission, right? Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even put the milk in the heckin' thing like I needed to. <laughs> it's 1.30 right now. Oh, it's getting so late. Oh, man. There you go. Okay, that, that milk is going right now. Okay, good. But, uh, oh, yeah, I, I should probably smell some stuff, too. Yeah, especially because I have so much heckin' wood, right? So let's get the let's get these kilns going because it's like, what, 10, 10 wood each? We'll get a bunch of charcoal. So there you go. Good. Then uh, let's put some fish up inside of the fish chest over here. Ba-boom. And, uh... I don't know what else. Red mushroom. Gold red mushroom. I guess I'll put that up over here. Just I don't have any uh, heck of inventory space. There you go. Then uh, I don't have any room for anything else. So there you go. And then hey, I don't know what to do with that. 140 right now. Oh, it's 150. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go over here. It doesn't matter. The coffee gets done super quickly anyways. Let's just go over here, go to bed. Probably end off the Ekin episode over here. It's already 40-something minutes long. How did... We only... It's only been one day in game. How did so much time pass here, you guys? This is insane. 11,000 gold right there. Amazing money, you guys. Just from selling... I, I didn't even sell any mayonnaise right there because we used all that for that one mission, you guys. Holy heck. Then it's uh, the 16th. Yeah, did, I didn't even check on the calendar yesterday. Was anything happening yesterday? Okay, thankfully not. Uh, we missed out on Alex's birthday last episode, two, two episodes ago, whatever that was, but let's not forget about Sam's birthday tomorrow, next episode. We, we know he likes pizza. I think we have that, because Shane gave us a pizza randomly in the mail, so I guess we'll give him that uh, for his birthday, just a random pizza tomorrow, next episode, for his birthday. Uh, if it's not going to be another one day, one episode sort of meme, I suppose, right? Is that still over here? Yeah, so we have a random pizza right there, so we, we could do that. We can give him that for his birthday, so that, yeah, that's fine. That's good. But anyways, let's go out and see us.
out of sight, see if anything's... Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy is happening out here. We do get some mail right there, I guess we'll check out on that. We got the charcoal done right there as well. Hi, Waffle. Thanks for the eggs. The yolks. Okay, so I guess this is our uh, another reward for the uh, two dozen eggs mission right here. Not only do we get like, what, 3,000 gold, I think, from that mission, but looks like he's giving us another heckin' fridge, which is crazy good. Thanks for the eggs. The yolks look amazing. I think this will be my best omelet yet. Please accept this gift. And he gave us a heckin' fridge. Or no, it's a mini fridge. Ooh. Allows you to store additional ingredients for cooking. Yeah, it, it physically looks about the same size as a regular old fridge, though, right? So, uh, and what's this? Emily. Oh, yeah. See, we did uh, we did missions for both Gus and Emily. Not only missions, but special missions, special requests, right? So this is pretty cool. We got some really good friendship points with them, I'm sure, right? I don't want to check them on the list before we end off the episode. Hi, Waffle. Thanks again for the wonderful gemstones. These will be perfect for my energy realignment work. I wanted to thank you with this special gift. I hope you create some wonderful items with it. Emily, now what is that? Is that a sewing machine? It is. Awesome. Okay, so I don't have to go to her house. I never went to her house in the first place to sew, but hey, now, now we can sew at home, which is pretty cool. Use to tailor clothes from convenience of your own home. Yeah, that's pretty cool there, you guys. Cool. Awesome. We have some really good friends, you guys. And uh, speaking of such, let's see how good of friends they are. Oh, wow. Look at this. Pam shot up. I guess Pam and Penny are both at the top of our hacking list. Shane dropped all the way down the third place there. Emily's fourth place. That's actually very surprised. Maybe we should start dating her too. Why not, right? <laughs> we got Robin, Gus. Gus, oh my gosh, he's really high up right there. That's insane. Dimitri, I remember Demetrius was like number one, number two at one point in time. He's all the way down here now, golly. Clint, oh my gosh, he's got six hearts. Jeez. A lot higher than I thought. And then there's Pierre with also with six hearts. Golly. Abigail, yeah, what remember that one time where I was like, oh man, maybe I'm maybe we're gonna end up marrying Abigail. She's like at the middle of our list. Not really the bottom, but kind of in the middle of our list right now. Harvey, Caroline, Marnie, Willie, Jody. Jody's at four hearts right now. Where's Kentad on this? He's at three. That's actually very surprising because he's only been here for like a few months now, right? And Sebastian, all them, dwarves. I'm like Sandy and the dwarf. I can't even speak to the dwarf. I don't even know of his heckin' language, so. I'm not surprised there, but Sandy, yeah, she probably casually, I don't, I don't think we've ever even casually talked to her once. Uh, we just went to her shop and bought stuff, right? So I might want to start casually talking to her some more often, but we do have an orange. We have peach over there done as well. A bunch more peppers done, uh, more hops over here too. And the corn is starting to be done over here. Awesome. As well as, of course, a bunch of coffee uh, as well. So anyways, I don't know how long this episode is going to be once I edit out all that random trash. Is the fiber down, uh, down here? What is this? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So next episode, we're going to get a bunch of fiber like I'm getting right now. How much is this? 100, 199. What? Okay, 207. Okay, I guess it all counted right there. Oh, that, oh no, yeah, it stacked up with the 18 we already had right there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's a lot of fiber right there, you guys. Not bad. And I guess we could just kind of multiply that. Because don't you need... Don't you need fiber to make fiber seeds? I keep wanting to think you do. Where, where is that on this? Oh, no, you just need mixed seeds and sap and clay. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if we're... We have four, yeah, we got four mixed seeds around that. Okay, so we can make at least four more fiber seeds out of this. Okay, cool. Or, uh, no, you get four from per craft, so we can get 16 of them here, you guys. Awesome. But anyways, uh, we'll worry about all that kind of stuff next episode, as well as Sam's birthday and other stuff, too. So, <laughs> until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. No more Ancient Fruit Day. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that'd be done by now, but uh, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. Oh yeah, I need to get more uh, hay and put it inside the silo and stuff. Golly, yeah. yeah. We have some in, in chests right now. I just need to deposit back into the silo so I don't have to keep grabbing them out of the chest, right? But uh, unwatered crops of one. Wait, where is that at? One unwatered crop? Where is that? It's, yeah, 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 right here. This one piece of, I, I remember I accidentally like placed a piece of coffee. Let's get rid of that. I'll get rid of that next episode too. I accidentally placed a piece of coffee right there. I, I need to get rid of all the, oh, whoops. Wh whatever, This that that's going to be fixed next episode anyways because this saves the game whenever I went to bed. Uh, but yeah, I, I, need, I need to do this just so I don't accidentally plant anything anymore. I guess I'll double check on the farm computer. Was that indeed what uh, was unwatered? Let me double check. Uh, yeah, look at that. Okay, unwatered crops here. Okay, so that was indeed what it was right there. Okay, cool. 20 machines ready. All these over here as well as that one mayonnaise machine and uh, one uh, cheese maker over there. And these over here for charcoal and the kilns too. So anyways, already did the outro earlier. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh.